So in this video, we're going to be learning how to solve some word problems related to finding the equation of tangent and word problem. Okay, so they're very simple, revolve around the same concept, but let's see. So here is a question from exercise 12.5. You can see that I'm going to do the highlighted part. So it says, find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the given value of x. So notice that we only have the value of x. That means we need to find the value of y. Okay. So first things first, you have the equation of the curve, you differentiate it. So what do you get? A is 2x plus 3. Okay. Then you plug in the value of x, which is minus 2. That means you now have the gradient of tangent. So 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. And that is the gradient of tangent. Okay. Next thing you want to do is you want to find the y coordinate because you have the x coordinate. So if you want to find out the y coordinate, you can do that over here. Minus 2 squared plus 3 into minus 2 plus 2. So let's see what y is equals to. Y is equals to 4 minus 6 plus 2. So 4 minus 6 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay, that's great. So now here's what you do. Y minus 0 equals to minus 1 into x minus minus 2, which then eventually becomes plus 2. So what do you have? You have y is equals to minus x minus 2. And that is your final and the correct answer. There you go. Okay, now we do part E. So in part E, again, same concept, but this time the question that you have to, the expression that you have to differentiate is going to be done using product rule, okay? So let's see what the value of x is. The value of x is 2 in this case, okay? So let's find out dy by dx. So in order to find out dy by dx, well, this we can't do straight away, as in we can't immediately start differentiating it. So first we need to write down what u is, which is x minus 3. That means u prime is equal to 1. We need to write down what v is, which is 2x minus 1, the whole thing square, which means v prime is equal to 2 into 2x minus 1 to the power 1 multiplied by 2, which means that v prime is equal to 4 into 2x minus 1. So next thing you want to do is v u prime minus u v prime. So now dy by dx equals to v u prime, which means that 2x minus 1, the whole thing square, plus u v prime, which basically means 4 into x minus 3 into 2x minus 1. Now, I'm not going to bother simplifying this. And why? Because we just have to plug in the value of x, which is 2. Okay, so let's see what happens when you do that. So I'm going to do this part mentally. 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, square of which is 9, plus 4 into 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. And then 2 into 2 is again 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, okay? So this becomes, now remember what you're finding out right now is the gradient of tangent, which turns out to be 9 minus 12, which is equal to minus 3. Now, if you're not too confident about your mental math, I would strongly suggest to use a calculator, okay? So now we have the value of x. We need to find out the value of y for which we're going to plug the value of x back into the equation. So 2 minus 3 and then 2 into 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, square of which is 9. So I'm just going to write 9. So what we have over here is 2 minus 3, which is minus 1 into 9, and that's equal to minus 9. So now we have the y coordinate as minus 9. So y minus minus y1 eventually becomes y plus 9 equals to m, which is minus 3, x minus 2. There you go. So y is equals to minus 3x plus 6 minus 9, which means y is equals to minus 3x minus 3, which is the final and the correct answer, thankfully. Okay. So now we have questions where we're supposed to find the equation of the normal. Okay, so first things first, again, I'm going to do the highlighted parts. As I said, you have to find out the equation of the normal. So let's first find out dy by dx, which is going to be 20x cubed minus 14x plus 2. Now you plug in the value of x, which is minus 1. So 20 minus 1 cubed will remain minus 1, minus 14 into minus 1 plus 2. So 20 into minus 1 is minus 20 plus 14 plus 2. Now bear in mind, you are finding out, once you simplify this, what you end up with is the gradient of tangent. And you have to find out the gradient of normal. So minus 20 plus 14 plus 2 is equal to minus 4. And the gradient of normal is actually going to be equal to 1 upon 4. And the point that you're looking for, you have the x-coordinate, but you still need to find out the y-coordinate. How do you do that? you simply plug in the value of x in the original equation or in the equation of the curve. So there you go. Let's see what do we get. So minus 1 to the power 4 is positive 1 into 5 is going to be 5. 
and minus one squared is going to be positive one but once you multiply it by minus seven it becomes minus seven and then you have minus two again so that means now we have five minus seven which is minus two and minus two minus two is minus four so you have minus one comma minus four so now we put this all together so y minus minus four will become y plus four equals to m which is one upon one upon four x minus minus one becomes x plus one now you cross multiply so you have four y plus sixteen equals x plus one now you rearrange it write it nicely 4y equals to so 1 minus 16 is minus 15 there you go that's your answer let's see if that's the correct answer that looks like it's the correct answer yep it's the correct answer okay so the thing is at the back they have basically made y the subject you can do that if you want but even if you don't that's perfectly all right okay so there's another part to it which we're going to solve and that is part f which is right over here. Okay, and what's the value of x given in the question? It's six, okay. So first things first, how exactly are we gonna differentiate this? You'll have to use the quotient rule. So u equals to x plus two, which means u prime is equals to one. v is equals to x minus two, which means v prime is equal to one also. So v u prime minus u v prime upon v square. So v u prime basically means x minus two minus uv prime now with minus be careful since you have like an entire expression that comes after minus make sure to make a bracket okay upon v square which means x minus 2 whole squared okay so if you can sort of anticipate so x minus x will just cancel out minus 2 minus 2 will become minus 4 over x minus 2 the whole thing squared okay and this is dy by dx now the value of x is 6 okay so if you plug in 6 let's see what happens so minus four over six minus two is four. And don't forget that you have to square it. So once you simplify this, you end up with minus one upon four, which is the gradient, but the gradient of tangent. Okay, so that means the gradient of normal is going to be positive four. Now you have the X coordinate to find the Y coordinate. You're supposed to just plug in the value of X in the original equation. So six plus two over six minus two, that means eight over four, which is equal to two. So you have the y coordinate also. So y minus two equals to x into x minus six, which means y minus two is equals to four x minus 24. And then if you make y the subject, so you have four x minus 24 plus two, which is minus 22 as your final answer. And that is also the correct answer. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've understood all the questions that I've done in this video. In the next video, I will be solving some more complex questions related to equation of tangent and uh, normal. So I'll see you then. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.